Mesa, do you is it magic conch time for you or, or should I, I guess so. should I delay it for you? I guess so. It's my magic conch for, for twenty twenty. My twenty twenty conch time. <laughs> 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 I don't know how I did that. So that was beautiful. Sorry. It was well done. <laughs> Anyone else got any other SpongeBob sound effects? I don't. I don't. I can do the little surfer uh, laugh, I guess. <laughs> that, was, that was horrible. I need to like build up to it. I can't. Yeah, yeah, you can't. It's yeah. You have to feel it in the moment. I get you. Has anyone ever seen the picture of Bubble Feel Buddy where he's easy. dummy thick and SpongeBob's about to slap the shit out of his ass? Jesus Christ! I have. Wow, okay. it's a wow. good edit. It's a That's, very good that, edit. That happened. Put hey, that on wait. your top ten list. <laughs> Sorry, Mason, you go on. Bubble you're Buddy's good, good. bubble butt. <laughs> so, so for my top ten, um, well, first things first, I have an honorable mention. Um, just because, you know, everything in my top 10 is, uh, released this year. And so, like, and I kind of have, are a rule you not of, like, breaking rules? You no. heathen. And I kind of have a personal rule of making sure to put, um, if, if a game is like, um, early access then you know, I, I keep it separate until it comes out and then I can put it out with everything else. So my honorable mention, because it's early access right now is uh, cyberpunk. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> it's incredible. It's the only game I've ever seen that got delayed after its release. <laughs> um, <laughs> man, we're gonna have a whole segment for this, uh, but yeah, uh, we'll keep the birds good. early. That's good. Um, all right, so so number 10 is gonna be, um, um, the, the 3D Mario All Stars. I know the controversy around it. I get it, but the end of the day is those games mean. Those games have such a strong place in my heart mm-hmm. that they could force me like go to Tibet for them. Like they, <laughs> does Sunshine <laughs> have a strong place in your heart? Absolutely, yes. As like, like I like when I start the screen, I'm instantly in like my aunt's house and it's like 11 o'clock and I'm on the secondary TV because I'm not allowed on the main TV. <laughs> <laughs> you what might about- break it. You might break it or fuck up a setting. You don't uh, get it. What about when you get to the hotel level and then you remember uh, that was the okay, first time yeah, you felt then, depression? Then, all right, okay. The, the hotel, it's not, we don't talk about the hotel. <laughs> um, but yeah, those games are, are something special. Um, Number nine on my list is something that no one's really mentioned bef- mentioned yet, but it came out during quor- during quarantine. And it was really really good for that. It was uh, uh, Clubhouse Games. Mm, yeah, like being oh, able I heard to, about that. Yeah, yeah, being able to you know play um, yacht dice or Uno or it's, it's, la- it's called Last Card or or, or, or Ludo um, with like friends online ha- was was fantastic. Um, it's it's also a good showing of the HD Rumble. On the Joy Cons, you get to feel the dice in your hand, and it feels really good. My friend Pix- Pixel Sickle uh, on Twitter, Ian, he was talking about that. I think on the podcast he does with Pat Contry, like it's just a really fun combination of game. Um, yeah. And if you like board games and stuff like that, like tabletop games, it's just a fun time. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, number eight is Bug Snacks. We've talked enough about Bug Snacks. Um, just a great. Fun story game. Uh, a lot of people say um, Pokemon Snap, but I kind of disagree. I heard a personal friend call it more like uh, uh, Viva Pinata, and I think that was probably the best description of it. Like, In a like, similar like, vein, Viva Pinata is a pretty fucked up game. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good fucked up game. Yeah, you feed babies to other pinatas in order to procreate. How else are you supposed to get the pinatas to smash together the way you want them, Jose? Right? By not eating How children? How else do you get the dick honey hive, Jose? Jesus Christ. Wow. All right, we went That's there. a deep sure. cut. That's a fucking 10-year-old plus deep cut. And, Sorry. Uh, number seven. Things. I'm glad this is your top ten. I would not be able to fucking respond right now. Number seven <laughs> is, uh, is um, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I I just love Dragon Ball Z so just, much, and I I'm one of those I'm one of those problems with with the, the with the um 
with the series as and I don't, don't really care that it's kind of the same thing over and over again. I'm coming every single time regardless. Um just like those pinatas. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> um but uh <laughs> but yeah, I I just I love Dragon Ball Z. Um and it's just it's just it's just it's a, it's a very very good action RPG Dragon Ball Z game. See cuz I I heard people like complaining about it and like was that do you think I don't nothing about it beyond I know it's like an RPG and like kind of story focused play it as was, Goku. It's a little repetitive. I mean, I it loved it. Be. I have it, it also. It wasn't on my list because I didn't finish it, but like mm. I loved it. I mean, I'm also like you, a diehard Dragon Ball Z fan. Like mm. Piccolo is my favorite. Every version mm. of him, I don't care. He's the best. You can take your Saiyans and shove them. Uh, but but that said, like, yeah, it felt very much for a person like me. And so I could see how other people might get exactly. bored by it. Exactly. Perfect. It's like it's so. not going to make you a believer in Dragon Ball Z. No. No. Dragon Ball if you're not already. No. But if but you, you press are a big the start fan, button, it's more of what you want. You press the start button and you see the Dragon Ball rotate and you hear the starting riff of Chala Head Chala and you're already yep. you're, you're, I'm done. You're and they done. recreate <laughs> the entire opening to the anime with 3D models. I'm telling yeah. you, like. Perfect. Chef's kiss. Exactly. <laughs> are you telling me I get to hear dragon, dragon, or are you telling me like the actual opening? No, the actual. Yeah, unfortunately, not Rock the Dragon. I wish it was Rock the Dragon as well. <laughs> oh my god. I love Rock <laughs> the Dragon, but because you have that, taste. That's the case. Uh, number six, Astro. Um, we've already talked at length about Astrobot. You know, as someone who never really felt like a PlayStation person, um, as someone I was able to get a PS5, you know, day after launch. Um, it felt like a like a like a coming into the fold, like like come on in, bud. You know, you think been outside, Come on in. I think especially after what you and I went through trying to get <laughs> the fucking PS Five, like it was oh, it was all the more sweeter ooh. because of that. Oh, man, I'm surprised those, neither of y'all threw hands. I'll be real. Three. <laughs> it was a mom. What am I supposed to do? I would have defended you, Mesa. I'll I got you back. Mom. I don't care. And mom, <laughs> especially <laughs> small moms. Have a way of getting what they I can't want. I can give them more ammo. Um, yeah. So next up, number five. Been on a couple lists already. Animal Crossing New Horizons. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. Been just a good time. Um, especially at the beginning of this quarantine. Uh, number four for me is Ghost of Tsushima. Um, I'm, 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 nice. I haven't quite finished it yet. Um, in fact, I'm very far from finishing it. But um, but so far it's, it's, it's it's the exact. It feels, it feels like a critique specifically at Ubisoft. Yes. Oh my god, oh. I felt the same way when I started playing it. Like, like playing like this ooh. is what you're supposed to do. <laughs> this like, is I, what you're supposed to feel like. <laughs> yeah. That also didn't make my list because I didn't finish it, and I just I was of a way of not. Uh, but like when I got obsessed with it the first couple of hours of it. And that's exactly, exactly how I felt was like, mm -hmm. this is why I don't play Assassin's Creed anymore. Cause I want mm -hmm. this, this yeah. game. I agree exactly. completely. Um, I, I would have liked a lock on feature though. I will say that. <laughs> True. Fair. There, there, there are some times where it's like, it's like Sakai, Mr. Lord Sakai, please. Maybe it's because I'm please. doing, maybe it's because I just doing? played Sakura like right before too. It hell threw me off. <laughs> Throw the kunai at the one with the th <laughs> dude i got so overpowered towards the end of that game i wasn't even using my sword i'm just throwing fucking kunais explosives it was oh, ridiculous you do a perfect parry into an instant kill and everyone just runs away perfect anyway i need to play this game number three on my list is xenoblade chronicles definitive edition um so uh i have a special relationship with xenoblade chronicles um, when I was I was originally playing the Wii version. Um, when I had a Wii U, um, uh, and unfortunately I got a certain way in the game before my Wii U with that game in it was stolen. Um, I'm still pretty pretty mad about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I bought sucks. that game used that for fifty dollars anyway. Fuck that person. Um, wait before before I forget, Blaine, did you ever get the Vita in the mail? Uh, I. I've kept the tracking on it. It's coming out Tuesday. Okay, cool. cool. You get to, you get to, you get to get the meat. Um, but um, but yeah, it's just a very, 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 very good, uh, MMO like combat JRPG. 
just a very very well told story um with very good characters and it's just it's just it's just pretty solid um all the improvements to the definitive edition make it the definitive edition um including there's even um a special uh side story at the very end of the game um that I'm currently playing through right now that just that also reveals a couple things about the the story um yeah it's just a very very solid rpg um number 2 on my list is street fighter 5 champion edition it's just I, a new the, the new version came out and I put it on the list. That's pretty <laughs> much it. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, yeah, you know, fighting games. What were, I love what were like games. some of the specific um, refinements or updates they did over the previous version? Um, so, so for Champion Edition, one of the biggest additions that they had. So, Street Fighter Five has this mechanic called a, uh, the V V system, a V trigger and a V skill. Um, previously, they added two V triggers. Now every character has two V skills. Um, that's a big addition. Um, another addition is that they've they've um, altered the balance of the game to the point where it's probably one of the best fighting ba- one of the best balanced fighting games ever. But do Whereas, they have Sephiroth? <laughs> that's true. They, it does not have Sephiroth. You're right. It does have Virgil though. Nice. The oh, um, uh, costume for uh, Cody is uh, Virgil, and uh, one of his V triggers, he pulls out a bat. Instead, he pulls out Yamato. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's cool. Um, I need to get that version. Um, so yeah, so Street Fighter Five just continues to be. Oh, it started out being really poor, and it's, it's shown the Capcom has shown nothing but support to making it the best version of it it can be. And then, and that's what makes me so excited for whatever Street Fighter Six is when that shows up. Wait, important it's question: fun. Is Cody a twink or a twonk? Uh, I don't think he's a twink at all. Okay, fair enough. Damn, to Google I go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't I know. know. I he's got know that good shit. boy haircut with his fucking mayor outfit, though. He does. He does. He does. But I feel like he's too. He's too. He's too large, right? So maybe he's more like Twonk leaning on Hunk, I guess. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's that. I, yeah, I like that description a bit better. Because because Prison accurate. Cody is definitely like just not Twink. I could I I agree with that hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. I, I see no like, definitive I don't, answers. I don't, think, I don't think I don't think throwing rocks is a very Twink like attribute. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I can introduce you to some Twinks too, like. <laughs> 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 Oh god! Right, I'm sorry. Right. I keep derailing this. And, and number one on my list. If you know me, you probably could have guessed it. It's Miles Morales. Sure. Uh, Spider-Man yeah. games. Miles Morales is just more Spider-Man, but, a, but it's black this time, so it's better. Yeah, I would <laughs> agree. <laughs> when they said that game was on PS5, I was like, now I need to get a PS5 because I care. I mean, I love Peter Parker, yeah. but like, I, I oh, don't yeah. know. I just want to see Miles get more play because he seems so interesting. To me. Spider-Man, I, Spider-Man was the reason why I had to get a PS4. M- M- Miles became the reason I had to get a PS5 day one. I think, mm-hmm. I I think every of our awards that Spider-Man got were like very well justified and well earned. Mm-hmm. But the, if you want to count Blaine as the honorary fifth member, since uh, she's been on basically like five <laughs> or six episodes at this point out of ten. Um, I, I now will never judge any outlet for voting a specific way for game of the year awards, because it, a lot of it does come down to what mostly everyone has played. Yep. Uh, I was basically the only one that played doom. It didn't win shit. Yep. <laughs> and, and everyone I, played miles and miles uh, deserved those awards. But I was the only one that didn't play, uh, last of us. I didn't feel like it barely won anything either. Yeah, it lost best lost uh, best story to Miles. I mean, I'm not blaming anyone, but you know, <laughs> I'm happy with that result, and you yeah, all know why. That's my, um, yes, YouTube.com. So I don't know what the fucking URL for that video is. I'll post uh, it. Whatever. I yelled about it a lot, and Jose let me do it. Put it up as its own thing. I really like that discussion. I think it's one of the best things. Uh, on the internet. It's the because only it time I've, it's, 
It's one of the oh, thank you. It's one of the few times that I've gotten to like get in a heated debate with someone who I know disagrees with me on a lot of points, but like didn't do that thing of like I don't know, didn't do that thing of like, okay, I'm going to pretend I listened to you, but here's my point. You just kind of let me go and that was cool. Well, I felt like for most of that discussion it was uh it's important to get the voice from someone who's actually affected by these things. So I'm just going to mm. shut the fuck up and let the person who actually has perspective go and say like whether people agree or disagree, they can take those um, kind of after the fact, but there, there is infinite amount of wisdom coming from Blaine in that entire That's segment. Basically what we ask of our cis allies is just learn to shut the fuck up when we tell you and everything will be okay. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Shutting the fuck up's pretty easy. I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the link for that for anyone that's interested. Wait, is that the right one? Maybe did I fuck oh, up? Gosh. No, I didn't fuck up for once in my life. <laughs>